What if I told you that everything you've heard about your brain might be completely wrong? For decades, people have passed around facts about how our minds work, but most of them turn out to be myths. And trust me, once you hear the truth, you'll never look at your brain the same way again. Let's start with one of the most famous claims. We only use 10% of our brains. Sounds dramatic, right? Like there's a huge untapped supercomputer hiding in our heads? But this is completely false. Brain scans have proven that nearly every part of the brain shows activity during a normal day. Sure, not all areas are firing at once because that would be chaos, but across speaking, moving, planning, and even daydreaming, you're using your whole brain. So no, you're not secretly a superhero just waiting to unlock that extra 90%. If people really only use 10% of their brain, then forgetting where you parked your car would actually be a genius level achievement. Another big myth is the idea of left-brained and right-brained personalities. Maybe you've heard people say, oh, I'm a right-brained type, that's why I'm creative. Or he's left-brained, that's why he's logical. But the truth is, that's not how the brain works. Both hemispheres constantly share information and both are involved in creativity and logic. Painting a picture, solving a math problem, even writing a script like this one, none of these tasks are limited to one half of your brain. Your mind doesn't split you into the artist or the scientist. It's more like a perfectly balanced tag team, with each side helping out depending on the challenge. Brain imaging studies have made this clear. When musicians play, when mathematicians solve equations, when athletes move, both hemispheres are active. So while it sounds fun to think one side of your brain defines who you are, reality is far more interesting. And this is just the beginning. If myths about the brain our most complex and powerful organ can fool us so easily. Imagine the myths we've been told about our own bodies. The truth there might surprise you even more. We've cleared up some of the biggest brain myths, but let's move to something even closer, our own bodies. These are the myths we hear so often, they've practically become health rules. But when science takes a closer look, the truth is a lot different. First up, you should drink eight glasses of water a day. It's advice that's repeated everywhere, by parents, by fitness gurus, even by some doctors. But here's the thing, there's no solid scientific rule that says eight glasses is the magic number. Hydration depends on so many factors, your diet, the climate you live in, and how active you are. If you're eating fruits and vegetables, you're already getting a good amount of water from food. And if you're in a cooler climate or not exercising much, you won't need as much as someone sweating it out in the desert. The real sign you need water? Listen to your body. Thirst is a much better guide than some rigid number. Another myth people love to believe is that shaving makes your hair grow back thicker and darker. This one has been passed down for generations, but science shows it's just not true. Shaving cuts the hair at the surface of the skin, leaving it with a blunt edge. That bluntness can make hair look coarser or feel stubblier as it grows out, but the thickness, color, and growth rate of your hair are all controlled by your hair follicles under the skin. In other words, shaving doesn't change the blueprint. If it did, baldness would have been solved ages ago. To give you an engaging detail, studies have compared shaved hair to unshaved hair under microscopes. The regrown hair looks exactly the same in diameter and shade. It only seems different because of how it's cut. If shaving really made hair thicker, teenagers wouldn't need years to grow a beard. They just shave once and look like Santa Claus. Our bodies are amazing, but they're also full of myths we've all accepted without question. But if we can get the basics of water and hair wrong, what about the things we believe about the entire planet? Well, that's where the next set of myths takes us, straight into space and Earth itself. We've gone from the brain to the body, and now it's time to zoom out, literally. Some of the biggest myths aren't just about us, but about our planet and the universe around us. And while they sound believable, science shows the truth is much more fascinating. Let's start with one of the most famous claims. The Great Wall of China is visible from space. It's repeated in classrooms, books, and even trivia shows. But astronauts themselves have cleared this up. It's nearly impossible to see the Great Wall from orbit with the naked eye. Why? Because the wall is narrow and built from materials that blend into the landscape. From space, it's much easier to see massive cities glowing at night or long highways cutting across the land. So while the wall is impressive here on Earth, it doesn't quite stand out to astronauts like people say. Now, another huge misunderstanding. Seasons are caused by how far Earth is from the sun. At first, this makes sense. After all, it feels logical that being closer means warmer weather. But that's not what's happening. Seasons are caused by Earth's tilt, about 23 and a half degrees. 
This tilt changes how much sunlight different parts of the Earth receive throughout the year. When the northern hemisphere is tilted toward the sun, it's summer there. When it tilts away, it's winter. Simple, but powerful. And here's the surprising detail. During January, when the northern hemisphere is in the middle of winter, Earth is actually closer to the sun than it is in July. That alone completely destroys the closer equals hotter idea. Moving to Australia doesn't give you endless summer. It just flips your seasons. So if you're running from winter, you'll still find it waiting for you, just six months later. These myths stick around because they're easy to believe and they sound simple. But the truth is far more interesting. The way Earth tilts, spins, and orbits creates everything from the four seasons to the length of our days. But if myths about Earth and space fooled so many of us, wait until we dive into the animal kingdom, because some of the strangest myths are about the creatures we see almost every day. We've cleared up the myths about Earth and space, but now it's time to look a little closer at the animals living all around us. You'd think with pets, wildlife documentaries, and zoos, we'd have these creatures figured out. But some of the most popular animal facts are actually myths that science has completely debunked. First up, bats are blind. You've probably heard the phrase blind as a bat used to describe someone with poor eyesight. But here's the truth, bats can see just fine. In fact, many species have eyesight just as good as ours, and some can even see in low light better than humans. What confuses people is that bats rely heavily on echolocation, sending out high-pitched sounds and listening for the echoes to see in the dark. Echolocation is an incredible tool, but it doesn't mean bats can't use their eyes. They're not blind at all, they're just multitasking. Another myth that refuses to die is goldfish have a three-second memory. It's been said so often that people treat it as fact, but research shows goldfish can remember things for months. They can even be trained to perform simple tasks like swimming through mazes or pushing levers to release food. Scientists have proven that goldfish can recognize patterns, remember feeding times, and even distinguish between different shapes and colors. That's a long way from forgetting everything after three seconds. Here's an engaging detail. Some studies showed goldfish could be trained to respond to music and would return to the same spot in a tank weeks later. Not bad for a pet that people think forgets instantly. If goldfish really had a three-second memory, you'd never have to worry about overfeeding them. They just think every meal was their first. Animal myths stick around because they make good sayings or they sound funny, but they take away from how amazing these creatures really are. Bats aren't blind. They're equipped with one of nature's most advanced navigation systems. Goldfish aren't forgetful. They're smarter than we've ever given them credit for. But as wild as animal myths are, the most surprising ones are often the everyday science facts we all grew up hearing. And once we uncover the truth behind those, you'll never look at the world the same way again. We've busted myths about the brain, the body, space, and even animals. But now, let's wrap it all up with the myths we've all heard in everyday life, the ones that sound so believable that hardly anyone ever questions them. First up, lightning never strikes the same place twice. This one is everywhere, in movies, books, even as a saying people use in conversation. But science tells a different story. Lightning absolutely can and often does strike the same place multiple times. In fact, tall structures like skyscrapers, radio towers, and even certain mountains get hit over and over again. The Empire State Building in New York, for example, is struck by lightning roughly 20 to 25 times each year. Lightning doesn't keep score, it simply follows the path of least resistance. So if something tall is in the way, it's a prime target again and again. Another everyday myth is dropping a penny from the top of a skyscraper could kill someone walking below. At first it makes sense, a coin falling from such a height seems like it would gather dangerous speed. But here's the truth, air resistance slows the penny down. Instead of becoming a deadly projectile, it reaches a terminal velocity that's fast enough to sting, but nowhere near strong enough to kill. At worst, it might give someone a small bruise, but it's definitely not a lethal weapon. Here's an engaging detail. Physicists have tested this by dropping pennies from tall buildings and even shooting them from air rifles to simulate high speed. The result? A penny simply doesn't have enough mass to do that kind of damage. If a penny really could kill someone, we'd all need helmets every time we walk past a tall building in New York. These myths survive because they're simple, dramatic, and easy to spread. But the truth is far more fascinating. Lightning proves nature doesn't care about catchy sayings, and physics shows us that everyday objects don't always behave the way we imagine. So now, the next time someone throws one of these myths at you, you'll have the science to set the record straight. Because the real world, brains, bodies, space, animals, and even pennies, is already incredible without the myths.